the greatest ruler who ever lived. He ruled not only humans, but also animals and demons and jinns. The one who built the temple full of secrets. He could command the wind and the rain and control nature at will. He knew all animal languages and he spoke with them. His interesting life and miracles are astonishing to listeners. What else the powers did he have with his miraculous ring from heaven? His wealth and treasure was unseen in the world, so much so that even today, many people are in search of his treasure. Get ready to listen to the extraordinary life of Prophet Solomon. Now imagine that you go out of your house and there is a species that looks very similar to the people you see on the street, but it looks different. On the one hand, they are laughing. On the other hand, they are shouting and attacking people. It's like you were in a zombie movie scene. You would be really terrified. Yes, you think this only happens in the movies, but it happened. Thousands of years before today, humans also experienced this horror. So what happened? It may sound a bit strange when you hear it, but the jinns, kind of demons, crossed into our dimension and attacked humans. They started a great chaos in the land of humans, and this event, which is one of the most interesting events in human history, happened during the time of the prophet Solomon. But the events he witnessed during his life were not limited to this. Let's go quickly into the life of prophet Solomon. Subscribe now and don't miss this kind of videos. About 3,000 years ago, a baby was born in Gaza. No one realized yet that he would become one of the four greatest rulers of all time in the world, who would rule the world as a child and take over his country. Along with his rule and the riches he would acquire as a child, God had also chosen him to be a prophet. Even when Solomon was only 12 years old, it was clear that he was different from other children. Solomon was the son of David, the head of the country at that time. David ruled the mountains, worked iron, and could make special tools. But Solomon would go far beyond him. After the death of David, Solomon took over the kingdom. He was still very young. His father David had great insight and chose Solomon as heir among all his sons. But the sons of Israel objected because Solomon was only 12 years old and his brothers were older and more powerful. But David believed he had made the right decision because he had extraordinary solutions to problems that were difficult to solve at such a young age, which pleased his father, who knew that he had heard from God. To the satisfaction of the sons of Israel, he conducted a public test among his sons. He asked them very difficult questions. Only Solomon got it right, his brothers did not. And Solomon was accepted by all and took his first step into kingship. On the day of his death, David met the angel of death, Azrael, in the middle of his house. His reign lasted for 40 years. He had conquered Jerusalem and made it the capital of his state. Now it was the turn of his son Solomon. For Suleiman, the time had come when great and mysterious events would begin to unfold. What you're going to hear by the end of the video will astonish you, so don't go anywhere. The prophet David had in his possession a very important ring from heaven which he entrusted to his son Solomon before he died. It was a ring that had been given to the first man, Adam, as a gift from heaven. And it was a ring that until today, very few people and only angels know about. It was a magic ring that gave great power to the one who possessed it. It had an unknown name of God written on it. And this ring was brought to earth from heaven by the angel Gabriel with God's permission. The ring was now passed to Solomon. From now on, he could use his face to command the jinn, 
the animals and the wind. This ring has an incredible story that has survived to the present day and has some very interesting incidents. We will come into this ring later. What we know today as Masjid Al-Aqsa, where Solomon lived, was then known as Beit al-Maqdis. The place, which has been burned and destroyed several times until today, has been the scene of interesting events. There was a great mystery in the construction of this place. It was not built by humans alone. It was started when David was alive, but he didn't live to finish it. After his death, Solomon gathered the jinn under his command and used them to build this place. So the temple, now known as the Al-Aqsa Mosque, was completed with the help of the jinn. In fact, the people were quite surprised to see the building start to rise without any construction noise during the construction. Whether the jinns have a role in other structures that are still unsolved today, how they were built, is the subject of a separate video. For example, the pyramids. Jinns have entered into Western mythology is that of the jinn or genies, as in the story of Aladdin. Jinn are real creatures that form a world other than that of mankind, capable of causing physical and mental harm to human beings. An example of such harm is possession. Possession is the belief that an individual has been entered by an alien spirit or other parahuman force, which then controls the person or alters that person's actions and identity. Jinn live alongside other creatures, but form a world other than that of mankind. Though they see us, they cannot be seen. Characteristics they share with human beings are intellect and freedom to choose between right and wrong, and between good and bad. Jinn are said to inhabit caves, deserted places, graveyards and darkness. They marry, produce children, eat, drink and die. But unlike human beings have the power to take on different shapes and are capable of moving heavy objects almost instantly from one place to another. Prophet Solomon subjugate the jinn and get them to perform tasks that required strength, intelligence and skill. In some writings, true jinn possession can cause a person to have seizures and to speak in an incomprehensible language. The possessed is unable to think or speak from his own will. In cases of real possession, the task of the therapist, who must have strong faith in God, is to expel the jinn. Now we know a little bit about the jinn. It contained the sacred Ark of the Covenant, which Solomon had completed with the help of these jinns. But it was lost when King Nebuchadnezzar burned the city to the ground some time after Solomon's death. The Holy Ark of the Covenant was also lost, and to this day, Jews are searching for it. God gave Solomon one of the greatest reigns and riches of all time. He had such legendary wealth. One of the reasons he had such a great treasure was that he commanded the jinn and had them do various things and dive to the bottom of the oceans and bring back pearls. In this way, he added to his wealth. According to the Old Testament, Solomon had one of the greatest treasures the world has ever known. This treasure, which included tons of gold, remains a sur even today. It is recorded in the Quran that Suleiman soon learned the languages of birds and other animals, that he ruled over plants, wind, animals, and jinn, that he used molten copper to make various tools and instruments. Prophet Suleiman traveled with the help of the wind. He could travel in a day what would have taken a month. He was the first person in the world to travel by flying. It is believed that God gave him special powers in this way. In a recent news report, soldiers were flying in the air by riding an artificially created wind in a tunnel. The blessing of transportation with today's airplanes was granted to a prophet Solomon thousands of years ago.
Today we believe that mankind can do these things technologically, following the example of the miracles of the prophets.